My goodness. Carnotaur. Carnotaur. This movie reference isn't going any further, but I think you can tell I'm excited. Now, I haven't been hyped for Ninjago this much at all with Sunset Carmadon. But finally, it looks like I'm gonna be caring about the series again. So, the trailer, three of them actually dropped. I'm gonna be doing videos on each of them. So, uh, yeah, let's get into this. Then we have Hutchins, and he's taking the four ninja, you know, the five, six now, six, I'm sorry, six, like that, like that. and they've got the new movie designs. You can see in the background, they're in the Royal Palace, some writing on the walls, I don't know what it says. You know, we got we got some stuff going on in this scene. Um, then, well, obviously in this scene, they go along and they um, they show up and uh, they see the mask of deception. Yes, I think the mask of deception. I think, and you can see Kai's reflection in the mirror. He's got a bit of a scar going on, a plaster on his head. Um, thing. Uh, yeah, the mask of deception. There, he makes a joke about you know his ugliness, and uh, then it cuts to. A great little storytelling moment. Now this uh, next scene kind of had a bit of a weird sound effect. It kind of took me by surprise, but it was very well for a trailer. Now, as you can see, we have this old lady that I previously assumed to be stuck. And uh, she's sitting in the thing with Jay and Lloyd. And they are talking about the Oni masks. Apparently, get this, the Oni and the Dragon's Realm is not just any old realm. It was the first realm. Now I'm assuming what's in the middle there is the first Magician Master, but... Hold, hold the phone right now. You can see the rock, this rock with the exact same rock used in the original drawings. This looks like fire or something, or snakes. I don't know, ghosts, spirits? I don't know what that is. But basically, you can see the dragon symbol and a, what is that? Just what is it? It looks like he's got four of hands. Are we gonna get these? Are we gonna get Oni figures? Is that what the next series is about? Are we gonna get literal buildable figures for Ninjago, for the Oni? They look amazing. That picture looks amazing. And uh, these masks, they hold these keys. Now, I think this throws out the uh, the theory that the three leaders have grey skin, and because they're Oni, they're not Oni. They just have the Oni masks here. As you can see, Kilo is wearing the new mask that he obviously steals. Now, I think the irony of this big brute throwing around stuff like telekinesis is uh, it's great. Um, and then it cuts to Mr. E, who's standing proud and tall with those four arms. My goodness, this is looking even better. Now, I, I kind of thought you looked a bit choppy in the last animation, in the, in the last uh, little little uh, preview, but uh, they looked a lot better in this one. Definitely uh, more time, acquired taste, really. So yeah, this is what we saw in the other trailer, just thing. And then it cuts over to Ultraviolet putting on her mask of hate. Now, I have this one in real life. It's really cool. It looks like in this scene, she's still got the, she's not put on yet, so the hair is going to split down the sides, and it'll look like it does in the thing. <laughs> it looks really cool. There's going to be some great effects. It reminds me a lot of the Overlord's armor. It almost looks like there's like some kind of Overlord like golden power coming out of the mask. I guess that could be what she's wearing or what's behind her, but, you know, it's a really cool effect, really cool screenshot. And then we have some power going on right now. This is when she's putting it on. You can see a Sansa Garmadon member just lying on the ground and some police officers watching in awe as Ultraviolet dons this hateful mask. Now, I think this is a good time as any just to throw in this incredible little th realisation that I had. And I hadn't had it before. I, I don't know how. I was thinking, why do these Oni masks matter to Garmadon? Why is it they're going to bring back Garmadon? And from this trailer, you can see that it's definitely bringing back Garmadon. And not Sensei Garmadon. People thought, oh, it's going to revive a spirit from the cursed realm. No. No, 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 no. This is going to do something that I've always wanted them to do. This is going to bring back his evil spirit. Mask of hate, mask of vengeance, mask of deception. Um, whoa? No? You don't think, and with the final shot being those red eyes, I think we might have our evil Garmadon back, guys. I, I, I'm holding out hope, because think about it. Garmadon deceived Samukai. I mean, the Overlord, the Overlord, the no, 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 he had vengeance against the Great Devourer, which I, you know, yeah, and um, he hates a lot of things. He hated a lot of things during his evil reign. Uh, he hated snakes for a little bit until he uh, enslaved them, basically. Um, you know, he hated quite, quite a few things. He hated Wu. I mean, he hated uh, the Overlord, probably. 
in the moment that he was betrayed. Yeah, he hated a lot of things. So, I mean, I think hate is a pretty fair emotion for Garmadon to feel on a regular basis. But uh, yeah, so then we come over to Lloyd and Jay. I mean, I'm just like at an all-time hype right now, which isn't that impressive, but this is basically this woman. I think it's, it, it, I hope it's Miss Stark and they just changed the voice of the actor. But you can see there's a painting behind her showing us like the what happened. Now, I'm really excited for this. We're going to learn a lot more about Wu and Garmadon and the first Ninjutsu Master. Now, it almost looks like in this one, it's a different thing in the middle because I can't really tell um, from this picture. That's the way I wanted the productions were taking these all. Because as you may, may or may not know, uh, my, my videos, my, my things I download get pretty blurry for some reason. I'm not really sure. Yeah, this is the same shot. I think this is literally the exact same screenshot I used in the first one, but it's not because it was redownloaded. But yeah, I, I don't know. Like, this is such a cool trailer. Um, because they had to reuse some shots. This was only like little spots. They weren't really like, we got three of them. I mean, I'm not complaining, but uh, um, yeah, this is this is going to ten minutes because of how long, how how long I set these. But um, I'm just gonna record this. So there's Kilo and Zane again. I'm looking forward to this. Kilo looks amazing in the show. Often these big figs look meh. Mungus was all right for a, a good portion of it when he was stomping around in Chima. Uh, Dog Shank was really weirdly animated, and I hope they don't try this again. There's a really weird trend with like Ninjago where they go way too fast. And I think I noticed this with the uh, the way he lifted up the rocks. But he basically lifts up the rocks and throws them at Zane. Telekinesis. The irony of this big brute tossing around mass rocks with his mind. It's almost kind of funny. Because you'd expect this guy to have the, the vengeance, no, the hate one. So he gets rock hard skin, you know. Unbeatable in a fist fight. But no, but no he, gets, he gets the telekinesis one. And you might also expect Mr. E to get thing, or maybe he got the four arms. What would Kilo look like with the four arms mask? The, uh, the, 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 the vengeance one, or deception, the vengeance. I'll on them eventually. Now, uh, here we skip over to Mr. E and, uh, good old Lloyd having a little fight here. Now, it's a bit unclear at the moment whether Lord Garmadon, uh, this little cult here, cult, uh, biker gang, has a different leader besides Mr. E, because they call him the silent one, and Mr. E is silent. And uh, there's a lot of people to think, oh, it's the Overlord because of his eyes. It's not the Overlord. It can't be the Overlord if it's the Overlord. Writers, what? He betrayed him. If he was wearing the Mask of Deception, maybe I could get that. Like, oh, you're just set deceiving him, being a part of the Sons of Garmadon, you know, then you're going you're gonna to have vengeance upon him. Something like that, you know, that could be a cool twist, but he's not. I don't see how this would be the Overlord in any sense at all. I don't like the Overlord, that's not, not a secret. And here we have a really fierce looking ultraviolet. She's holding like a dagger and it's like all ripped and stuff. She's got like his own skin. She looks scary there. That's, that's kind of cool. And uh, here's like the giant eyeball. It's like Sauron. It's not, it's the portal that Garbron's coming through. Now if we have a look at this, I noticed something a little bit interesting. This is the, this is like the colours that Garbron was, you know, used for. But this outline. This outline that it's like it's opening up with it it reminds me a lot of the portal from the dark dimension and this is the weird thing is that where is Garmadon like right now here he is there you can see him right there he's uh, in this in the darkness and it looks amazing this is when the hype hit 25 million um where is he where is this evil spirit? Has it been formed by the Oni? Is it part of the Oni? Is Garmadon? Was Garmadon, when he was cursed, turned into an Oni? These are the questions I've been asking since, you know, the leaks came out and the sets now and all that. I'd really like a bit more of a decent explanation on Garmadon himself and why he was like this undead looking thing. Because originally he was called an undead, you know, he was undead because he was ruler of the underworld. Now, and then it turned out he wasn't undead because when... The Overlord was looking in the infrared site, you could see heat on him, I think, if I remember right. I think you could see heat on him. So that didn't make any sense. Like, oh, oh, now he's got now he's got warm blood apparently. So I, I don't know. I mean, I hope we get some sort of explanation for what Garmadon turned into, because I love that version of Garmadon. Lots of Garmadon too, but the evil version with just a very well designed character, honestly. So yeah, I, I don't know what's going on. I don't know how this is going to shape out. I'm kind of excited now. <laughs> kind, kind of. 
So everyone, leave your comments in the comment section below, like like usual, and please try and like not hate me for that last video. It was kind of like suggested by people I asked. I asked on Twitter, that was the suggestion, and I really couldn't find anything I hated, hated. Out of Ninjago anyway. So um I don't hate any Lego sets really. Here we have a great shot of Ultraviolet. She's looking absolutely incredible in that just rip, like, you know, that, like, oh, that sounds really wrong.